number 47 of the Optic Podcast. Uh, your usual co-hosts, Big Optic Hex, Ashley Midnight, uh, Nicholas Maniac, Kirschner, the Kirsch Dog, Long White in Fortnite. Long. In Fortnite. Uh, and Jack. And Jack. <laughs> Who's this Courage, guy? Dunlop, the Senator. Hello? <laughs> what? What why the senator? I had something stuck in my tooth. <laughs> Is that why you said hello? Because no. <laughs> you got a surprise in your mouth. <laughs> hello. He's like, hello there, thing. <laughs> <laughs> hello there. He looked at that. At oh, that. Oh, oh, holy oh, shit. <laughs> He looked at that. He looked at that bagel. He looked at the poppy from that bagel, and it's like, hey, that's brunch. <laughs> All right, way too hot. Uh, welcome yeah. to another episode. Um, last week we had a, a very, very. We're gonna try not to talk about Fortnite this time around. Uh, yeah. This is two weeks in a row. Is is not that? But I brought up a, a very interesting question on uh, on Twitter uh, regarding the possibility or whether or not. You guys think, and we think, and the question is to you guys right now, and this is an interview, this is a podcast conversation. Chilling. Do you think that Call of Duty, for the next iteration of it, needs to have a BR mode? Let me set the scene. I was about to say. Set the scene, please. Yeah, let me know what, like, what is the scene? scene. Because it depends on a lot. You load up. Okay. You load up the the thing. You have free for all, FFA, CTF, SND, BR, uh, Hardpoint, and then everything else, okay? The way that you have zombies, you have a separate mode slash servers and millions of servers where you pick and choose where you land. So BR is just one of the playlists. BR is one of the playlists. I don't think it could be mixed in with like the multiplayer playlist. It would have to be like campaign, zombies, BR. Sure, <clears throat> but you get you get the points. Or whatever, yeah. Like a it, different it wouldn't session. be a replacement of what we have already. It'll be an aggregator. Kind of like war right now. Kind of like game. war. Right. They'd so, have to do it, right? You can't die as fast as what you already died, though. Right. That would imagine logging in a game and just dying, yeah. or, or rehealing Instantly. the same way that you heal. Yeah, exactly. Like, can you just get shot and then start? Re- let let me let me let me put it to you like this. Let's say they they didn't copy, but they emulated the same sort of uh, the same sort of the same sort of science applicable. To be uh, to to the current PRs out there in terms of health, you find a juggernaut, it it heals you up to whatever, and those are your shields. Jug? Sh- no, or a jug- juggernaut. juggernaut. It'd be juggernaut. like yeah, it'd be like a Perca Cola. Yeah. <laughs> like like a pain like painkiller already, correct? It'll be like that. Uh, same thing with bullets. Same thing with with that. But I think that that Call of Duty, as big as it is, and the history that it's had in its lifetime, it would be very very cool if, like the hunting rifle, you were able to find a Car 98 from Call of Duty 2 on the ground that's golden, the one-shot, one-kill wonder, right? But at the same time, I agree. Anyway, so I, I have my thoughts on it. I want to hear yours because I'm very vocal about mine. Well, my question is, is for, like, since Fortnite is just, like, the mecca of BR right now, like, it's going to be tough for any BR game to come out next and try to overtake them because they've done it so differently and they're just adding so much content, like... And, and keeping it fresh, that like any new BR is gonna struggle, right? I think the, I think the thing with that to think also though is like when PUBG was its thing, no one thought PUBG would be overthrown this quickly. Like PUBG was right. six True. months ago, everyone was going, "Can you believe how many people are concurrent on PUBG right now? Like this is breaking." It, it had four times the player base of Dota Two, which was second on Steam. Like that's unheard of. Yeah. But now we're at a point where we're like, "Do you see the numbers Fortnite's doing not being on Steam? Like this is ridiculous." I think Call of Duty sees a success in a BR if when you pay for the game, like it's a part of it. Mm-hmm. Yes, there are some microtransactions, but it almost fits like an Overwatch mm-hmm. model where it's like you pay and you get all the benefits of that. Like Overwatch, you pay $60 once and you get every hero that comes out. You know, you, you don't have to pay for the heroes. You don't have to pay for the maps. Mm-hmm. It's just all part of the game as the, uh, as the updates. And like that is where COD sees a success in a BR mode is like you pay. Maybe there's a BR pass. Who knows? And you pay five dollars a month for BR, or not even five dollars a month, but five dollars, and that gives and that gives you three months of content, kind of like the battle pass from Fortnite. Mm-hmm. It's got to come with the game. If it's it's got to be like like you say, like an addition to the mm-hmm. game. Like if you gotta have a paywall, there people are gonna be like, what the heck? I could go play like five other BR games yeah. at this point. I just be mainly from like the uh, the added content side. Oh yeah, like, yeah, so like like, you pay like five, skins. You pay, yeah, you pay five dollars and you get it gives you three skins and uh, two. Because you got to remember, like with a COD game, if it's first-person shooter, you there still there will still be a great focus on camos, which people will love. There will still be a, a, 
like a, a great focus on the way your character looks, obviously. Right. Um, It'd be third person though. Think about that for Call of Duty. They haven't done that since like. I don't. See. I don't think. I don't think it needs to though. I, I don't think. No, think I mean, it'd be exactly, all first person. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what you what you see in the realm of Call of Duty will be the same exact thing. Uh, one of the ideas that I had is like, if, if you think about if you think about the way that it would be like, all right, we're gonna land. Uh, you you get an AC one thirty, obviously. Yeah. And then you jump out, and then you say, all right, today we're gonna land on back lot. From backlight, we're gonna go to crash. Crash, we're gonna go to Point to Hawk. From Point to Hawk, it looks like the circle is gonna end in Tujay in Tunisia from Call of Duty 2. So I think the, the maps are there, and I think that the 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 availability for that sort of uh, gameplay is there. But I didn't think about the economics behind the real business behind behind that, uh, because you're right. You know, being free is one of the main reasons that this that that, that one thing that we're not talking about today happened. Um, but I think that there is a, 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 a world where they, I think they almost have to, in, in my opinion. I think that at this point they have to. Like if, if you are a developer and you're evolving as the space evolves, I think you have to. Um, How much would that take, though? Because Call of Duty is already a uh, Well, there, there is a, a BR right now for game. Call of Duty. It's out in China. It's in China, yeah. So really? Call of Duty in China is free to play. It's like Caught Online, right? What? Yeah, Caught, Caught Online is free to play. It's a mix of... It's like it's more of like what Hector's talking about—a mix of like multiple so COD games. It's like someone just has an innovation from MW2 playing on the back lot from COD4. What? Like it's, yeah. a, it's that's crazy. Um, intriguing. Though. Yeah. What about Halo? Do you think Halo? I think see that I think Halo would would push towards a better VR experience. Yeah. Than even COD. I think so. Yeah. Why? Just be well. I I look at it just because it, it, it depends how COD would do it. If you didn't insta die so quick, Halo, it's like it's almost like the not necessarily perfect amount of shields and like the BR burst, and so there would be possibilities of living longer and not just spawning in a game and insta dying. Uh, but I think Halo would work well just just like, because Halo is what it is and just how it's already played. It wouldn't need fixes like Call of Duty needs. I think I imagine a Halo BR where you're in a a pelican or one of the large ships, right? Um, whatever the one was called. Warthogs and shit. Dude, imagine, yeah. imagine, yeah. imagine, like imagine flying ups. over, right? And you jump out and you don't land like the other games nice and gracefully. You land like a Titan from Titanfall. Like, Master Chief. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start running and you, and you go and you grab what you can and there's obviously certain things but then like, bro, there would be no cooler way to end a BR than imagine you're fighting, it's three people left, you're fighting a guy, you out BR him, Next thing you know, you're one shot. The last guy's chasing you around a corner. You just go ninja him, dude. Like, how nuts would that be, bro? You ninja the last guy in teabag. Like, that would be uh, such a dope way I, to end I would, I would play it. I, 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 at this point, now that I that I got the BR bug in me, and I didn't get it with H1C1, I didn't get it with uh, with, with PUBG, PUBG. Um, and I got it from from the th that which will, shall not be named. Um, no. I, Fortnite, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a big deal, but... <laughs> I, I think that I would. I think that I'm more open. I think that my multiplayer, my, my multiplayer being personality and, and, and person has changed for the better after this. Not having, knowing what I know now about a true free-for-all where there's like an open world sandbox shooter game like, like Fortnite or PUBG or that. Now that I know that that's a thing, I don't think I could ever play free-for-all the same way that I used to play free-for-all. I don't think I can. Is free-for-all dead? For oh. me, it's either competitive play or BR. What's funny is, I when I play free for all, and I'm sure you, you guys will probably agree, <clears throat> I'm I'm not even, I'm not even trying. I'm just, yeah. I'm warming. It's like a warm up. Like if I'm playing free for all, the way I played COD the last couple of years because I play so many wagers and GBs and whatever. Ooh. Okay, calm down there. <laughs> tight, <laughs> calm down there, tight pants. Um, <laughs> I would load in. All right, tight shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, that's too much. Um, thank you, sir. Um, I would literally load on in the free for all, and I would have music playing, not even putting mine to it, because I'd be thinking about what I was going to do next. Yeah. yeah. I don't even use free for all. It's like bots. Yeah. People yeah. do. The only, Unless it's the last time old I played free for all's competition was Lone Wolf's Halo Three, yeah. going for my fifty. That was when I was like sweating playing a free for all. Do you guys feel like with Call of Duty, like? The only time you have fun is in the competitive atmosphere. Like that's how I feel. Like I can't, I cannot play more than like I an like hour sniping. of pubs. You like sniping in pubs? In the beginning of uh, what's the game that's out now? World War Two. World War Two. Yeah, in the beginning of that when that dropped, and that 
<laughs> what am I getting trolled? <laughs> That's so funny. You know, what's the game? Uh, okay. But yeah, in the beginning when this dropped, I love sniping on it. I was just a, I was a little pomage out there in the field. I enjoy pubs. pubs more. I enjoy the people that I'm with. Same. True. Yeah. So I, I need to join. Like there, there's, there's Wait, criteria what? to enjoy pubs. I need. I can't have a full party of six because then there's not enough kills to go around, especially if everyone's confident. True. So I need like a party of four that we can carry two idiots if we need to. I need people that are good vibes and can just have great conversation because mm -hmm. a lot of pubs about carrying good yep. conversation. Yep. yep. Or I just need Maven. <laughs> Maven. I think we all need Maven. Yeah. That's true. Where, where uh, is if Maven's Maven? there and he's had some drinks, I could play pubs with that man forever. Because the stuff he says, like every every fight he gets in, is it's like a mini, it's like a war. He, he said, <laughs> it's like a war. <laughs> oh my god! He's calling. <laughs> he's calling out. Oh, you, you should hear. Him. Like it's life or death. Oh. Maybe it's such a hardcore gamer for being. He's so bad for being such a hardcore gamer. He well, I, I think I'm on that boat too. I'm so competitive, and I'm not that that talented when it comes to video games that anything just like pisses me off to no end because it's just a competitive person. Yeah. But I'm with you. I think gaming for me, <laughs> gaming for me has, has has become more of a of a, of a of a social interaction than anything else. Uh, yeah. If I could be playing anything, yeah, as long as I'm playing with the, with with my old bit of optic, like I could I could play anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I I just know that there's the conversation is going to be meaningful. And there's going to be a lot of shit talk, which I, which, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, and and at the end of the day, I think that that that's what what has carried me throughout the years. Like the the, the amount of people that I've met, you know, in, in in this industry, has made has made gaming become more of a social thing for me than just like a competitive thing. Yeah. Um, so I'm 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 with that 100. percent I think, yeah. Anyway, so back to the thing. BR, yes or no for Call of Duty? Do they need to? I think Call of Duty is very stupid if they don't have a BR mode next year. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nick. I, f I think they should. Yeah. I trust. But it's and sorry, I trust Treyarch to do it. Go ahead. Well, I do too. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just gonna be hard to do. Right. It depends on when they started like adding is it that in. For. It is. Yeah. Because here's the thing. Now that now we've seen, we've seen the rise and fall of different types of BRs, mm -hmm. arcade style versus more intense style. The pros and cons to each. Call of Duty's seen what's worked, what hasn't worked. They literally see how successful Fortnite is right now and what the developers are doing. That if you just copy this with a, with a certain style, mm -hmm. you're going to have a successful, maybe not as successful as Fortnite, but successful enough game right. and mode. I agree. So I now if you fuck, if mode. you mess it up, it's like, wow. Yeah, it can't be just for like novelty, right? It yeah. can't just be like, oh yeah, we put it in. Like it has yeah. to be decent. Yeah. I mean, look at the look at the look at the in-game mechanics of Fortnite and how long it takes for you to kill somebody with whether what, what it's the ACR or oh, whatever. Man. Apply those same mechanics to the AK-74. I'm you. just trying to think of what COD could do. Is Fortnite COD, I, so, I, 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 kill streaks? No kill streaks. COD, 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 yes. COD would 100% need streaks need of streaks. some sort. It would 100% need uh, what kind of streak? Like a UAV, like you pop like three a kills. UAV guided missile type. That's dope. How yeah. Do you just figure out. I, if it's not all right, so so here's how I think it might have to go. I think you get streaks and care packages that you fight over to give reason to push on a map. So that's very key. Like Halo would be re really easy. Like imagine on the map, there's certain power ups that drop or yeah. spawn in certain areas. Yeah, so you go for it. It's like if I get the camo, imagine having active camo in a game of Halo BR for two minutes. And at the end, the end of it, it's pretty damn good. Damn. Um, they, they would have to disable Halo. that for the last Screw for God. the last the second that it hits yeah. ten people left, they have to disable it. Well, yeah. at the same time, if it's a drop that everyone can be seen and you take the risk of going for something like that, then your reward should be getting that. If I'm in the top 10 in Fortnite, for example, and I go and pop a balloon, True. and it goes poof, yeah, yeah, and everyone goes, someone just popped the balloon that I saw there, and I get the gold scar out of that, and I get away with my life, I should absolutely be rewarded for that. And that goes for the same, It's and it, that's all the risk for reward. It's the same thing as what makes competitive Halo competitive Halo. Yes, there's a shooting aspect of it. But the reason why competitive Halo can do Team Slayer and Call of Duty cannot is because there are certain map objectives you fight around to give you the advantage. Yeah. Because at, you know at 8:50 uh, at uh, at 11:56, rockets are spawning for the first time in Halo 3, and then they come back up and again at 8:53 yeah. and 5:50 and yeah. so on and so forth. So th that's what makes it possible for Halo. I think that's what you apply again to the Halo BR. But a, t a COD BR, yeah. I think you get airdrop. I think you get airdrops of of. Uh, uh, of kill streaks, like you go open a, a kill streak and there's a Harrier. Great, I can use that late game. Or when you get more kills, you unlock perks. So right now in Fortnite, the reason why you're rewarded for playing aggressive in Fortnite is because you have a better chance of getting higher tiered loot. 
So it's different from PUBG. In PUBG, you can spawn in, you can loot enough buildings to get a car, this and that. It still is pretty rare to get a scar in Fortnite, but you kill someone, you get their scar. You get 15 kills a game, and you're looking, you're like, I'm maxed on it, Matt, I'm maxed on this, I have an advantage going into my last fight yeah. because I got so many kills. Yeah. Right. In COD, the way you build that same, here's how you make aggression pay off, is by more kills means more perks, which gives you an advantage in the later game. You're what still if, killable. What if it was like specialist for Modern Warfare 3? Like you kill so sick. many people, it'd be like, you now you have stopping the power, now yeah. you have yeah. sleight of hand, like that type of stuff would be dope. Yeah, that would work. I was, gonna, I was just going to say for COD, I don't think anything like a UAV or a guided missile. Maybe a UAV for like five seconds or something. But like a 20. guided missile. Like imagine making it to the end of like a Call of Duty BR game and you just predator here comes missile. A missile. That'd be sick. I think. I think. I think that that'd be cool. Just wasted. Ten like, minutes they would have to be super, super, super like. We have to be balanced. Yeah, the, 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 super balanced. You can't find a you, you couldn't do or or you, maybe you could do like a like a Call of Duty four chopper where you just throw it up for ten seconds and if it's anyone in its radius it it, it does enough you know. It's a thing like it, with Fortnite right now, for example, like you rocket launcher someone dead on, it's got its max number it can do. If I have two hundred health and someone hits me in the face with a legendary rocket, I think it maxes like a hundred and thirty seven damage. Yeah. Really? So it's like. Yeah. Okay, if you have if you right now if you're full health and shields or have body armor, full armor you and cod. A predator missile hits you, you're down to quarter HP and can still heal and survive. Like, yeah, I like that. Uh, now, let's 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 turn a little bit more. Do you think that if Halo does that, do you think that Xbox would have to give up its, you know, its exclusivity with Xbox for Halo? Well, like Halo on the PC. Halo on the PC. Halo, Halo VR on the PC. Halo, Halo across all platforms. Hasn't Halo started to come out on? It's they like already Microsoft. Did, they already right? released Gears of War for PC. Windows 10. Windows 10. Maybe it'd be like 10. Sea of Thieves, like Windows 10 and Xbox only. Yeah, I think that that's. I think that's the future of Halo. Yeah. yeah. For one. A thousand percent. Um, it has to be. Yeah, but I just think that like PlayStation, right? The, 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 the you know Fortnite's ability to be what it is is because it's on, on everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what happens the second that Fortnite decides to go on the Switch? I have a, a Switch. Yeah. And I play the the the, the, the massive. Hook it up to your TV. You can hook it up. That would yeah, be sick. I would play it on, on. Yeah, I would. I legit. I wouldn't even play it on the TV. I would play it here because I want to be good enough to be able to like play this close to the little tiny screen. Did just like, like how far is that? Like oh, 159 meters, easy, <laughs> done. That would be sick. That huh? would be cool. Yeah. Anyway, so what do you, what do you think? You think uh, Halo or, or Microsoft would be okay with uh, with? Handing, handing it back, or handing I mean, they should at this point. Halo, well, I might be biased, but Halo sucks. Well, you can't Halo be biased. Five sucks. That, it, you would have been biased if you said Halo's the best when it's not. But the fact that you know. Well, I just suck at Halo Five, so I say that's it where sucks. it's biased. That's where my bias yeah. is. I suck at Halo Five, so I say it sucks. But I think Halo's in a. I mean, COD might be in a similar situation to where it's people are. I mean, it's not like Halo, but I guess you could say it's dying. It's definitely on a... People aren't, like, hype about it. And I've heard talks about Halo 6. I'd rather see a Halo VR game than a Halo 6, to be I, honest. I, I think I think that a lot of people are... are Actually, saying, I take I, that back, sorry. Well, well, I, think, I, think <laughs> I was I want, just thinking about that. I, I, was want, like, I want Halo 6, but a VR would be cool. Like an addition. I, I think people need to, to, to open their minds up to the fact that it's not one or the other. It can be both. Like today when I tweeted that out about Call of Duty, they're like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Call of Duty would never just go straight VR. And I'm like, I never said that. It's an addition. CTF. Yeah, imagine like watching a scump stream. I don't think he streams anymore. But it's like, <laughs> but it's like they did. get done scrimming and then he like hops in VR. Yeah. And it's, but it's, it'd still be just... People either want to see like competitive or VR. Like fun. Right now. They want to see fun or competitive, I think. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just think that, that, that everything changed the second the VR was a thing. I mean, I played, I played, what was it, DayZ? I played DayZ for, for like a week and oh, I had that fun. The first? That was like one, was of, the one of the first ones. ones. I think 3, the first, Armor yeah, Armor 3, 3 was like the where... first mod. And, and, and I'm like, I, like I, I, I got it. I got, I got the point of it and I got it. And it's like the, the, the amount of, of situational things that happen where, you know, you grab someone hostage and then the execution of said hostage. Like the whole nine was fun, but it wasn't until H one Z one that I was just like, man, this thing's gonna be this this is this. I think this is the future of free for all. Did you all play H one? 
Yes, I did very much. Oh, I think like you got to think about bullshit. when like Treyarch started making yeah. this too. Like Black Ops Three came out, and they're still kind of doing that, and they're probably conceptualizing their next Call of Duty. So like, when did BR really take off? Like towards the end of H One, PUBG. That's like right when IW was out. Why are you laughing? So like, Nick's like, did you guys play H One? I played a shitload, and I'm sitting here like. Yeah, like, I didn't watch your 35-hour-long stream. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that on the way, and he's like, like yeah. Like, like I, didn't, like, I didn't see that you were literally live more than you weren't live in your life. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I, I exp- love that game. Having, having experienced this firsthand, like, you know, getting to the, to the scuff house at 8 in the morning, seeing this guy live, and I'm like, all right, cool. Going, did my, my vlog, did my whatever, you know, went home, turned on my, my PC, and then seeing him live. And then waking up in the morning to, you know, start my day. I'm in the bathroom <laughs> looking and seeing him live. And I'm like, how many days has it been? <laughs> and what, and then, and then many, not even hours. Immediately <laughs> after that, I'd be like, I, I text Hitch. I'm like, yo, get your, get your man. Yeah. Right? Because it's, it's like too much of one thing is, you know. Never good. Too, I, I was, it was so refreshing. 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 It was so refreshing to like a game that much again. I felt the same way. I hadn't liked a game like that since the beginning of Halo Three. Something like, about popping the to helmet. Just play. Like even with Fortnite right now. Right now, I don't even like. I don't have that urge to really? like, go home. Me and neither. Play. Really? I don't. I do. So here's here's a reason why I, I miss a H1 right. low key. Fortnite. No, no, no. So, <laughs> but here's we talked about this a little bit last time. But here's here's a reason why I think that, and maybe you can attest to this. In H1, the community was small enough where, like, people could make a name for themselves almost from how good they were in solos, right? Like, yeah. I didn't really follow, like, I knew H1. But, like, I was, like, 1500th in an A at my peak. Mm-hmm. And I would, like, see someone in my lobby be like, oh, there's Prodigy Aces. Like, I've seen that guy. He's, like, number four the Right? Oh, okay. He's number one. Weird. So, but, okay. So now, think of it this way. <laughs> you, do you think you'd get more into it once they add a, 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 a which is, I'm sure, coming, and they've already announced it is, competitive play season one for Fortnite, yes. where you can go and you have your own MMR yeah. and now you're playing and you're like okay now I'm getting in. Oh, yeah. that's where that's, I think, that's when I started like, exactly because I was like with H1 being what was it royalty yep. yeah I don't know how my memory is like a goldfish but uh, there, was, just, there was only five ranks in yeah it was like it was, the gold, was gold silver, silver bronze and then there was royalty platinum. which was yeah, pretty cool just happened <laughs> even in like Halo that's why even in Call of Duty I don't get into it unless Cow it's like a wager or something <laughs> I agree because I need something like if Fortnite added a rank system yeah I'd be like, well, trying to play what do you guys think about like having like if you had a rank system and it started like matching you against other people with those ranks or yeah that's, you have to that, See, that people are like annoying. against that though, because it's so it's already so random. And then if you're going up against other like sweaty nerds, it's like yeah, imagine well, I didn't have a gold Ninja, scar, so. but he's just against sweaty nerds every game. That wouldn't. The thing is, is I get old. It 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 would obviously you don't always have to play it, but the thing oh, yeah. is, it's one of those things where it's like, I know that there would be some days on stream where I, I actually spoke to Ninja about this. We played together. I was like, there would be days where Ninja goes live and he says, "Hey guys, I'm playing normal matches today," you know. And then there'd be days where Ninja, and he'd be his interactive self. And then there'd be days where Ninja would go live and he'd be like, hey guys, I'm playing competitive only today. And like, he's not reading donations. He's not doing this. He's literally just like this. Yeah. It's two different streams. Right? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, people, I agree with that. People would want to see that for sure. Yeah. But so you're saying to have them like separate, like a playlist? 100%. Well, okay. they have, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think they Never. Have. I thought you were, well, because H, in H1, it was like you would be exactly. all in the same game and you just see, like, oh, Nick's no, no. a royalty. Anything, they do, anything, anything they do from here on out has to be an aggregator to what it is. Right? Yeah. It yeah. should only be added in, like, a sniper shootout. Yeah. Except yeah. it's just ranked. Right. Or something. I agree. Yeah. Do you play the. the and let's not talk about that. I was just. I was, we gotta start talking about. Fortnite. We started out saying we weren't Fortnite. gonna talk about Fortnite. And we're so, we're talking about BRs and Cod. Well, yeah, BRs more. are yeah, in yeah, general. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, I just uh, look. I, I, I think about it nonstop. I'm thinking about it right now. I'm thinking about the sweets. Are you hurt your foot? Which one? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Can you, can you please? Wait, did it? Someone? I heard uh, someone like th- me diffused on how you have a hurt foot. And yeah, you were like, you, like, so sitting, like I was sitting like this last week. Ouch, dude. But then it's someone like right now he's got his legs. He's got his legs crossed like this. Yeah. He's pretzeling. There you go. Like that. Wow. Yeah. So I've been trying hard because all my life playing Call of Duty, I've always sat like this, (laughs) right? Like Like, (laughs) feet planted on the on the ground, playing like this for years, which is why it it, it messed up my back, Mm -hmm. right? I there's there's times like once a year I'll have a a kink in my neck to where I'm a mummy, right? I can't I can't do that. 
But for some reason, when I play PC games, Minecraft included, I do this. His foot's on top of his other foot. Right? My foot's on top of the other foot, it's not good. but on the other side. And the, the one time that I injured it is like I was playing, I was playing, I was playing, and, and something happened. Where I'm like, oh, and I just say, Gosh. broke right? your I cracked, ankle. I cracked my my foot, and that's where the injury, the injury came from. I said, I have our next topic. We can touch on. This is a little good little segue. What gaming injuries do you expect to have when you're older because of how much we've gained games now? Oh, man, my, my, my wrists are going to be jacked up, dude. I, I'm worried about my eyes. Your eyes? I felt. I feel like I felt my eyes get worse. Yeah. Oh, I, you're uh, exercising them. There's no way because you're exercising them so much. My, my, but you're just my, my fine. Farsighted, the... My no. far sight, I think, is worse. My near sight, I think, is still perfect. I could just... But when I look, <clears throat> because I'm so used to staring at a screen, yeah. which is right here. Yeah, but you're, there's depth in... You're not looking at a screen and it oh. stops there. There's... There's I feel like it. I'm worse. If at you if distance. you look at how to exercise your your eyes, they tell you look at something close, look at something far, look at something close, look at it over and over and over. All I'm doing is looking at something close. Yeah. But, but I don't know. No, but you're in in game. You see something. That just here. might be an illusion though, because technically the the lighting of the pixel is still right here. It's Doctor, just an illusion. Doctor Niak. Nick's gonna I have, Nick's, I, I have no, I have no, I have no rebuttal. <laughs> Nick's gonna have a bunch of. I feel like Nick's gonna get older, and he's gonna have a nice handful of uh, gaming related. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have. I don't know how. Most people. I've never had a back problem, but like my posture, I, I kind of sit up straight, but then I think I, like hunch yeah. my neck. You know like, who doesn't have that problem? Scump. <laughs> <laughs> but how does he's he even have it? Because he, he doesn't sit. No. Like. Like, you would think his back's messed up. He said it's like he's, like, doing a squat, like a proper squat at the gym, but, Bro, like, holding yeah. his control. Bro, for years, for years, every single time he'd be doing an interview, I'd be like this. And he'd be like this. Look at interviews. He'd be like this, and I was like, he'd be like... Because I'm in the <laughs> background saying, race, be taller, man. You go from 5'9 to 6'1 doing that. I remember I had a, an H1Z1. I had a leg problem, like... Uh, cool. <laughs> still actually doing, he's still oh actually like problems. It's still, he's still having like problems. I forget which leg it was in, but like, all right, probably this is, the left. This one? is really weird. Ooh, but I used to sit like a girl with just my leg on, and like oh play, that's how I play H one for that and, many hours. Yeah, like a crane, for that many hours. Just so like, like my leg would go completely numb. I started like losing feeling in it. Yeah, it so, was scary. Maven had this really bad, and I experienced it for the first time this past week from how much I've been playing Fortnite and streaming. But basically, you have to have your arms at a certain height when you're playing on PC games, or else your shoulders will, will your shoulder, your shoulders know. and neck will begin to hurt. They need to be flat, so it needs to, it can't be pressured like your your elbows are down here and you're reaching up. That's how I. And you am. can't, you, you don't want it to be like this where your your arms are up here and you're going down. Mm -hmm. You want your arms to be flat with your gaming surface where your shoulders are rested in a perfect scenario because yeah. if it's too low, imagine it's too low, now your shoulders are like this and, and your shoulders are dipping. My thing recently was too high, yeah. so I was like this without even, and, and You're really the difference in two inches, an inch, I had the same is too thing. much. And I adjusted it and literally, Ashley, instantly. The I DX the racer difference. up and down? Yeah. All right. Literally, the little difference I do, yeah, I do that too. I so, a, do you guys I'm use this case. as support? Yeah. 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 Same, yeah. so do I. Okay. And because, Wait, my shoul really? well, because, yeah, my shoul because my shoulders are Ninja so wide, when, when, because my shoulders are so wide, I actually... Uh, I don't either. I push my... I, I tilt my things out. Yes. Yeah, yeah. like yes, my because my literally elbows. my shoulders are so wide that I like, rest on that mm -hmm. because it's a little bit too tight for me. Yeah. I do, I do the same thing. I use this as, a, as, a, as, as the rest. And I only do that because I, I, I have this like mental thing where I'm like, if I suck, it's because I switch something, position or, or whatever. That's a thing for a lot of people. And, and the second that I do this, I'm I'm like, I, feel, I feel comfortable. And I'm just like, sc I still scroll to get to the... I don't Ooh. use numbers to Me get to the... Me too. I get jacked up every time, man. I would every be... Every time. Your, yeah, yeah to I'm a weapons. psycho. I would be a tank. I'm talking about, like, like, like let's just... Pray that I never learn how to build or use the keys to get to my weapons. It's game over for everyone in this Only two of the most important parts. Yeah. Same. What's crazy is, if I'm not mistaken, at ESL, the CS pros, because they have like a union sort of thing, mm -hmm. they went to ESL, and because of how much they need to be comfortable, the, they, they said the, uh, these desks need to be 45 inches Oh, wow. Tall. Yeah. So they would measure them with a tape, with, with, with a tape measure. That, pro, pro StarCraft players yeah. would sit down and, and like pro CS players, so I don't know if you've ever seen how CS players play, but they play like with their keyboard tilted. Yeah, like, this. like all weird. Like so does so, Tarek. Mm -hmm. So literally, they Sideways will sit down. Almost. Players will bring their own ruler to events and take the edge of the desk and measure out five and a half inches, and then where their 
Other thing is, one and a half inches, so that they are at the perfect exact trajectory. It's I all muscle memory. Oh, it's I'm crazy. I'm thinking about doing that, just playing three solos on Fortnite. Yep, no, yeah. that's exactly what they do. But, because uh, I'm like, I'm head casey about how I sit. Like, I'll be like this, I'm like, I don't want my elbows on the chair, then I'll go like this, my shoulders are scrunched. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be like this, and I'm too relaxed. <laughs> then I say like this, my neck hurts. Bro, what was the thing the other day in the gym you said that killed me, man? You said something so funny. That I, I have no idea. Oh, he he has a I wish, Oh, I, I wish Nick needs a camera following him. In when the he was awake, when he's awake, Nick has gems to drop. That is when true. I'm awake. It's like you're like a dog. Because like I sleep on him. Three out of every twenty-four hours. <laughs> you, put, you put him and Bose in the same room when they're both on fire. You don't have to say anything. Yesterday, so, would, would, just would straight Yosari, shower he's thoughts. Like, he's like, I'm tired of this. Shit. <laughs> and then you look around, and there's like, it's like, I was like, oh, it's because a girl, and he's like, well, uh, <laughs> uh, so it's, it's, it's all good. So for me, I think uh, my neck, my neck is like the number one thing, and I've already seen the, 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 the hardship from it because once a year, it started in ghosts, and there is a, uh, there's a, there's a video of me, like in my robe. I'm just, uh, you know, playing and and I just like have this one thing, and it's not. It has nothing to do with my bones. It's 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 something. Uh, it's muscular yeah. or, or tendonitis or I something. I gotta see if I have the same thing you do. Yeah, but it, like it'll it'll hurt. You know how you, when you sleep wrong, it, it, you wake up and you have that that the, the kink oh, in your neck. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. It, it it's like that, but it happens from playing Ugh. because I'm like this, and then if something happens, and I'm like oh, and if and if I get mad and I twist something the wrong way, I'm I'm gone for like two weeks. I'm like this. See, I'm just like this. Like I'm not flexing. That's just the way I look. But I'm like this. And this is the same thing. Like I've accepted that I, when I'm older, I'm supposed to deal with it because this is my way of life. It's the same thing as I brought this question up, and I'll ask you guys too: Is would you, if you get told you can eat the way you are, but you're going to live a couple, a few less years because, like, let's say I eat so unhealthy when I eat all my Italian food or whatever, mm. the home cooked meals that you have. Like, yeah. if I got told Jack, when you're older, you're going to have three less years of your life because, of, but you could, you, you, you eat this stuff like normal. I would be like, let, let, yeah. Let's. I, I want to talk about that, but let's talk about their injuries. So if you, if oh, you guys say anything, because I do, I, yeah. you and I had a conversation, this conversation at World of Beer. Yeah. And it was like a two hour conversation. Anyway, so do you have any, any injuries? I do. Anything? I have a neck thing, kind of like where you've been touching. Your neck is like exactly where I'm hurt. And like I think the top it's, right? and I, yeah, like I can't, I have like a knot. it gives That's me the like, same. It gives me like headaches. It hurts my eyes if Are I play too long. Oh, my, I don't know what it is. Like that. What? Your fizz and puck it right now. You're like what a you, combo? Why, no. <laughs> You're wet. <laughs> oh. I wonder if the camera can pick that. 100%. I Yo, think are you kidding so. me? Ask, ask, <laughs> puck, ask <laughs> Pucket and Fuiz if they could see it on camera, bro. Both of those dudes are For the record, I don't I'm smell sorry. anything. No, it's nice. <laughs> anyway, so, so you think your neck. But yeah, you're... dude, I think it's like the mouse, cause especially when I play PC. Like, I need to find the length of the height of the DX yeah, racer to um, get my arm nice because, like, I went to physical therapy. I went to a whole bunch of stuff to get rid of this, and yeah. I can't get rid of it. The only thing that helps is like stretching it out a lot, trying to just take yeah. care of it. Don't play for too long. Uh, I'm happy to say that it's been three to four weeks since I've had any any of those things. Blessed. Proud of you. Yeah. So, we have. Uh, what did you say yours was? <laughs> eyes. My injuries. I, I think. I think my, my eyes and my lower back. Eyes, lower back. You said knees. My you neck. Said Half neck, of his neck, body. Neck. My my neck. My balls. My neck. Probably like my <laughs> wrist will be. <laughs> 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 Sorry, All right, so actually. so Jack's okay. Jack's question to to reiterate, and we had this conversation. It's like, if you if 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 uh, if, if it's known to you one hundred percent that you're gonna live to be seventy five years old if you eat healthy, healthy every single day, seventy five years old, you'll live longer than that. Or okay, okay, hundred. Okay, Nick. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's say they tell you if you eat healthy, you're gonna live to see a hundred years old. If you eat Whatever you want to eat, how, whatever, you're going to live to be 98 years old. Which one would you pick? Wait, 75 to 98, or do you no, do no, no. 100? We, we you switched to 100. 100. Okay, 100. my bad. I was like, what? It depends. Because Nick couldn't grasp the 75. Do you look different? Yeah, like if you're going to spend like your time. Are you going like to be fat time? for 98 years? Yeah. The, or it's that, up to that's you. Up to you. That's, that's up to us. you. That's up to you. Obviously, if you, you, can, you can eat like an asshole and not work out, like me, I have for the past, like six, well, up until now, for six months I did no exercise and I ate everything in sight and I, I was loving life, okay? I mean it, yeah, I was. I know, I I, I was just, You're going happiness. for that good before picture, right? Yeah. That's what I was doing. Yeah, I was building it, I was working on a project. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, but if they told me, if, if, if it was certain 
that it was going to be full 100 years if I eat healthy, or 98 if you eat whatever you want, and it's up to you to look however you want because you can go to the gym and combat what you eat. You may not have abs because the abs are made in the kitchen, not in the gym. Jen Seltzer. Um, Jen and- Seltzer. <laughs> Hex just quoted Jen Seltzer. Yeah. And, and, uh, she and- plays Fortnite, you know. No, I don't know. She acts like she plays Fortnite. I asked her where we're dropping, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right here, don't leave me. Right here. <laughs> shoot, shoot your shot, 2018. I love it, I love it, I love it. What if she says yes? You never hey, know. Don't trust me. Well, I, I'm with it, 100%. Hit me up. No, that's what it is. <laughs> please, please. Add her, show her, clip this, send it to her. Please, um, thank you. So, yeah, so what, 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 what about you, Jack? 100, eating I, healthy, or 98, eating whatever you want? I would do it to 95. Yeah. Yeah. You I would do it to like 82. <laughs> <laughs> Screw so those 18 right? years. <laughs> 18 years? Uh, think I, about it. See. No. So we, are we decided? Of yeah. Are we decided? Let's decide an no age. Doubt. We have to decide an age. No, no doubt. What do you pick? What number do you pick? How many years are you 93 shaving? 93 is pushing it, I think. Okay. Right, so how, Seven now, years. Now let's, let's, what about you? I would do 95, like five years. Like, I love ice cream. I just love sugar and bread, man. Like, that's True. it. That's R-T. it. Carbs, sugar. Retweet. I would, but if I was still, if I was like, if I just didn't like how I looked, then I wouldn't. If, yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is that you'd rather yeah. look good for other people than be happy with yourself. Yeah, I don't eat healthy for health benefits. You're mostly. just trying to look cool. Yeah, I just that try, makes sense, I try to like keep myself together. Yeah, that makes sense. I get that. So I wouldn't same boat. Yeah, I don't eat broccoli because I'm like, this is giving me great vitamin D. I eat broccoli because I'm like, damn, I'm a fat sack of shit if I don't eat broccoli. <laughs> Basically, right? That's seriously it. Yeah. Basically. So what? What? So what year? Years, How, what's the year? What's the year that you would trade for food? There's so many years. Very, like, Nick, you can eat whatever you want and still hit the gym and still look fat. Then I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> Thick neck. I would eat. How would, many years would you trade for that though? Yeah. What's your number? Uh, and, and it would have to be up there because you can't say it's like. Okay. Let's say if I eat perfectly healthy, I live to a hundred. Yeah. If, but, sorry. Go ahead. If I don't. If I eat whatever I want, uh, how many years would I? Do we get like cheat days for the hundred? Uh, or like no, never. Maybe of like course. ninety. Ten, Ten years. years. Yeah. Wow. To Wait. Eat anything. Every I mean, day. there's a lot of factors <laughs> to this. There's a lot of factors to this. Like you're ninety. You. You're like you're, this is all those last. Think, think about it. Those last five point. years are horrible <laughs> from ninety five to a hundred, <laughs> right? Terrible. So <laughs> like. <laughs> Well, you can't say it's horrible after you say it. <laughs> yeah. He goes, he goes oh, what is life then? Those years are just watching anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not participating <laughs> in life. Like just being camera. wheeled around. Oh, you're just the camera. Oh, my God. You might not even That's remember awful. all the food. If you 90-year-olds did a work a computer, they'd be pissed at you right now. No, I'm kidding. My grandma's, I think she turned 91. <laughs> Maybe 92. There you go. But Ask her what she ate. Oh. Be like, she ate whatever the fuck she wanted. <laughs> See? Hector's gone. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh. I'm gonna ask Granny. Granny, what do you think? Is Granny, it worth? Are you turned oh. on? Are you, is, is Grandma turned on? She's a camera. She, that was so messed up. That was messed up. That was messed yeah, up. You're just spending your time watching anyway. All the nursing oh homes God. that play this podcast are exiting out. Uh, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking about it because it, you know the way Ashley asked it. Like I, I could totally see like the train of thought. It was like 91. This means that she's got like one more year because if she ate everything, it's like one more year. If she ate healthy, then she still got like seven more. So that's that's why I was just like laughing. Oh man, it's, that is that is uh, great. Such a yeah, 98 easily. Okay. So you're 10, 10 years? I think I'll trade 10 years for sure. 10? Um, yeah. And I would. It's good home cooked meals. You can't trade. Tacos. It. You can't trade anything for that. True. No. But would you trade. Actually, it just would have got to. Would you. It's just too realistic to eat healthy. Would you rather eat like shit and eat whatever you want, live less, or die sooner, or. Eat healthy, longer, be happier. Like those are the things I take take in count. 
Well, I I think I I, I talk to about a vlog all the time because I've always I, I I haven't struggled with weight because I'm if you see me in person I'm not like you know like fat I'm just you know chunky. We're thick. Ch no, but see, there's the thing. Look at my leg. Does this look thick to you? Look at this. I can almost I'm in put the my... same boat. Yeah, but if you look at my stomach and if you look at at, at, at like the cheeks and the thing, that's the only part I get fat. And that's just because I play a lot of Call of Duty, and when you're like this, the stomach gets extended, you know, and the well, and you know, it's I, Call I of Duty guys. Yeah. You heard Call it here. Called. But um, <laughs> I, I always talk about it. I'm like, do I want to look more handsome and not eat what I want to eat? Or do I want to continue to look handsome and, and be happy eating what I always eat? Just I'm just, I'm not, well, maybe it's different for me. I'm not happy when I eat shitty. I'm happy True. for that moment. Same. But it's insta regret. Then I feel like tired the rest of the day. Like right now, I'm trying to like, like I said, I got my good before picture. Now I'm trying to do it, and I'm trying to like, if I if what I change. What do you mean good before picture? Like I gained weight, right? So then I'm like, okay, but, but you we gotta turn purpose. it around. Well, I make it seem like I did, but no. So, <laughs> <laughs> so now, so now I'm like, picture. all right, once I lose like 20 pounds, it's over for these bitches, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear better clothes. It's gonna be all good, right? So now, like, my thing is like, I try to change my diet too much. I won't stick to it. So right. now it's like I'm doing moderation and everything. Yeah. Not cut out soda, cut out really bad food, maybe once in a while, but you like eat a little bit less. And like, I'm going to the gym, yeah. go to the LA Fitness right yeah. by us. So I go there every you know morning. What, well, what, every morning, but like three times time. a week. Yeah. What's helped me this time around is the fact that I didn't weigh myself before I started doing this. What I saw is I looked at myself in the mirror. I'm like. Not that bad. That's what I told myself. Mm. It's bad, but not that bad. And it's uh, and I'm all I'm focusing on is how I look when I look in the mirror. Same. You know what I'm saying? I'm or not like, focused on, you know, because I, I I'll gladly weigh 290 pounds if I look like the Rock. Like the Rock. No, mm. or even like Bruce Lee. Okay, someone really thin and and, and small. Okay. But like weight for me doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait for me doesn't matter. So it's like the, the the results that you see. I think it's like how I work. fit in clothes. Like I have these pants, so I'm like, oh, these are sick, and I'm gonna fit in them. And like once I know once I fit in them, I'm gonna be like, this is so worth it. I'm so glad I didn't like go to Chick Fil A. You're gonna be like, no, girl, no, stop. Yeah, well, stop. It, beca it becomes <laughs> addicting. Jen, get away. Oh yeah, eating, <laughs> eating healthy. Like, you know, I'm already on day two. I'm not cheating today. Me neither. Had my avocado toast. I didn't partake in the lunch stuff. That lunch stuff wasn't bad. No, it was, was no. Just, they like always cater really healthy stuff, but like I just ate, so I was like, maybe I shouldn't like eat more carbs because I just the had protein toast. balls that they have there. They are good. good. Fire. Haven't had any. No. Oh my god. I don't know. I think I, nutrition for me is always going to be a struggle because of the way that I grew up. You know, with the Mexican food. The. Just. The, the, yeah. Isn't <laughs> Mexico is the the fattest, fattest country in the world? One thousand percent. Right? For real? Really? really? Yeah. Followed by uh, followed by Italy. Wow. I thought we were number one. I thought we were, we were number two. The United States? I assume well, we're well, it has to be. No, it ha well, it has US to be because the United States is, is a compilation of today I'm going to have Mexican, tomorrow I'm going to have Italian, yeah. tomorrow I'm going to have, the day after I'm going to have Chinese. And then fast um, food culture as well? Yeah, it's like yeah. processed, not good. Like there's a difference between like having a homemade taco and then like going and getting like processed fast See, food. I didn't notice many fat people when I was in Italy. Right? In regards to the people themselves. Like locals? Pasta, bread, the best. You haven't had pizza, and I'm talking to you. You would have never, ever had pizza if you've never been to Italy and had real pizza. Because even in France, which is where we went for Call of Duty, I had a pizza. It had, I had the spaghetti bolognese. i got to tell you, I, I, as I was eating the pizza, I felt as though I've never had pizza in my life. I'm like, this is what it's supposed to taste like. The only thing it didn't have is extra pepperoni, mm. which I would have loved. But it w it is that different and that good. I think... I think this is I am Italian, so it's half Italian, half Irish. But I will say this: I think Italy is one of the best countries in the world to visit. Really? In regards to the food, it's got to be one of the top countries in the world for mm -hmm. food. Hundred percent. Then you've obviously got so many great landmarks to go to and incredible things, like the history of like Rome and everything like that is just wild. And granted, I, I've only been to a few certain countries, but for everything I've seen and places you can go, I. Uh, go, going to a villa in Tuscany is something that I will never forget in my life. Like, yeah, it was awesome. I think everyone should go to Italy. It's on my bucket list. My bucket list as well. Yeah. 100%. Um, let's switch back, or let's switch to a little bit more of a serious topic. And I want to talk about this as a public service announcement, sort of, uh, on things not to do. Uh, obviously, yesterday was, a, was a, another horrible day here in, 
here in the United States where there was an active shooting at the, at the YouTube headquarters. Uh, immediately, as soon as that popped up, my immediate reaction was grab my phone, hit up Fwiz, and see if you're okay. Yeah. But immediately as I did that, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? You can't, don't. You, in, in situations like that, and the reason I'm bringing it up is because um, having that instinct to call to see, or to, to call to see if he was okay, immediately thought about, like, I, I, I dismissed everything that I've known about things not to do in, in active shooting situations. You don't ever want to create noise because you don't know if you're hiding in a closet. You don't know if you're hiding or, or just, you don't want to alter anything if you have the, the, the chance to do it. If I'm hiding in a bathroom and there's a, an active shooter walking by and my phone rings, guess what? Now you know that there's somebody in there. Now my cover's blown, essentially, and, it, and it's wrong. So immediately, if I had that, if I had that instinct... To me, immediately I wanted to get on Twitter and, and, and tweet it out, do not add or do not call anyone, because I saw the amount of people, at Fuez, I hope you're okay, at, at, at Fuez, I hope that you're okay, prayers are with Fuez. And I'm thinking, I'm like, if you're a verified person and you're tweeting at them, there's... Verified, a like, and the way Twitter notifications, it's hard to cut you off, but like, if you tweet someone and you're verified, like, even if they don't even follow you, like, some people might just have, like, notifications, like, Twitter's yeah, notifications you never know. are weird, like... I'll have most off, but someone will verify to like tweet me or follow me, and I'll still get like a ping, mm -hmm. uh, even same. when I have my mm -hmm. same. even when I have all of my notifications on all social media is like muted for the most you part. You can tweet Justin Bieber and be like, "Boop." Yeah, because you know he's hearing the sound. Yeah. Well, maybe not, but but yeah, no, that was that. I mean, we we were texting in like our group chat, and obviously that's the first thought that comes up, and everyone's got connections and people there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are. But. Uh, Terrible, but again, yeah, it's. I think this is probably the, one of the closest home I've felt in regards yeah. to because of just knowing someone immediately that could have been there. Yeah. Just kind of. Yeah, and and uh, and 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 the thing there is this, and 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 I, I don't want to turn this into a discussion on, you know, rights and and, and, and all that because I, I do like guns, I I I do like shooting, but I also do believe that there should be some level of control when it comes to background checks at least minimum. Yeah. you know yeah. when i went on the reality show the controller you guys can still watch it's on the cinema show um and we spent a week in in fps russia's uh compound we were we knew that we were going to be handling large guns and ammunition and tannerite and explosives so i took a one hour long written test okay and i'm not talking about i wrote anything it was just check mark after check mark after check mark after check mark of uh when you close your eyes do you see fire do you like fire like a thousand like a hundred questions after that is like do you like seeing things burn and you know like like psychological questions you do that and i'm glad that that happened because if if there is a tiny little bit of like you shouldn't be handling a weapon guess what you should not be handling a weapon like left and right you see like i just saw something like horrible on, on on facebook live where there's this girl playing with a with a gun in a car with with two dudes and you know there's like there's no clip in the gun but the girl all she hears is okay no then check the chamber click the clear the chamber and like you know was fake shooting in her head but there was no. a there was, and blasted the dude in the head dude gone you know it, it, was, it was a 30 second clip apparently he's still alive is he? It's on life support. There's no way you come. I saw your reaction. I saw your reaction. I was like, oh, I can't watch it. Yeah, I didn't even watch it. I was yeah. like, I can't do that. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've heard about it. I haven't watched it. Yeah, and and again, I, I I'm 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 all for things the way they are. I just want a little bit more education. Education, background check. Uh, I I, th I think it will help. Um, what do you think you do in the situations like a a terrorist attack or like what happened at the YouTube headquarters? Do you? even like sp speak on it like i don't know what's your take like because people always say the reason shooters like do that stuff are for the attention for the publicity they're going to get out of it in some cases sure in my opinion in some cases sure in some cases no i i you know i hope i hope you know i don't know man i just i just i think that the people that do it need like serious help and, and it, it, it more often than none uh unless it's like a terrorist attack where it's like something different completely like political or something <clears throat> religious um i think in, in situations that there, there are there you know if you seek help or you have thoughts like these i think that it, having a conversation can can save a lot of lives including your own if if you get there um yeah. and, and everyone everyone 
uh, deserves to have at least everyone deserves to give themselves a chance to not do something bad. And if you have thoughts where you are, you know, where you have these dark thoughts and feelings about something, give yourself a chance. Like, even if it's for the first time ever, <clears throat> even if you hate yourself for whatever reason, give yourself just one more chance to to give yourself the opportunity to not do that bad thing. This Talk is, to someone. This is kind of random, but um, for there should be a group like there are for I don't know how I heard about this, but there's a group for pedophiles who knowingly like little children, but they know it's wrong. But there's like a group to where like these pedophiles like go and like talk to each other, and we're like what if like these, I don't know. There should just be somewhere to go where like mentally ill people who are like having these like sick thoughts and. I feel like they gotta know it's wrong. They, there should be like a place where they can go and talk to not act on these. Like well, a support again, Like maybe group. you do have an urge to kill people. Like that literally may be an urge in you. Yeah. Just like for pedophiles, like they literally might not have control on the fact that they find this attractive, but they know it's wrong and they like. They, have a support group. Yeah. yeah. Have a support I, I, group. Again, it just goes back to the chance. Like, give yourself a chance to not do something bad. Just give yourself a chance to. To explore a different alternative to to not do the bad things that, that exist in this world, uh, because everybody, I mean, and, and, and this goes for just anything in all levels. Like if you, any any bad thing in your life, whether it's a bad bad business move or 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 just a shady thing that you can just give yourself a chance to not become a scumbag, or to not become a victim, or to not become something that you shouldn't be in, and that. But anyway, let's uh, let's move on to that. Just want to 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 maybe throw it out there to people that didn't know if there is an active something situation an active shooter situation just don't reach out to the people that that they will hit you up like you calling them and them telling you that they're okay it's only helping you and and, yeah. and to relieve your stress imagine what they're going through right like uh, i couldn't even I, I couldn't even text kayla and be like hey have you heard from ryan you know because i'm like because at that point i'm worrying her even more because yeah. no she hasn't right so i i just want to throw that out there don't don't at them don't Text them. Don't call them. Just wait. There's nothing that you can do. Your phone call is not going to help at all. Just, yeah. just swallow, swallow the stress that you're going through, knowing that somebody else, them, is going through something, something harder. I was going to say that's that'd be really hard though. Like imagine that your loved one. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's how hard. do you not yeah. text? Because what if you text them and be like, hey, are you alright? And, like, Fwiz wasn't even there. He was somewhere else. Like, what if you text Fwiz and he's like, yeah, I'm not even there right now. Then it's like, Phew. So it's like, yeah. do you wait out? It's one of those I mean, you have like, to. What if, what if there's the point zero? I would rather have the 99.999% yeah, yeah. chance that they're fine and me get the response they're fine. Sorry, I would rather not have yeah. that yeah. than me send that the point zero 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 one time and it... That it could change whole could situation. Because yeah. just be think about it. Like, you're doing it from the best place in your heart. They know you care. Yeah, yeah you're they You're saying that because you're, you're not only for yourself needing to know because you're it's freaking you out, but you're also wanting to know, like, hey, I'm thinking of you. I care. I, I do care. But trust me, like, Wiz, for example, isn't going to bed going, I can't believe, you know, I wasn't reached out to by this person right away yesterday. Like, no, yeah. He was going to bed thinking of thinking of his colleagues and thinking of the terrible stuff that, that, that happened. He knows we all care for him and are there for him and, and his team and everyone there at Google and yeah. YouTube. Yeah. The last thing you want is for you to be the thing and him be like, mother, you know. Yeah. I, I have more topics to talk about it, but we can just push it for the. We got more. We got more podcasts to come, guys. This is a fun little group. Plenty more. Yeah. No, I, like I think this I think this was a uh, this was good enough. We 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 started good. We had a good conversation and then a nice little. Don't want to end dark. No, we don't want to end dark. Uh, public service announcement. Yeah. Uh, but everyone say a good thing that's going on. It's a good thing. You're back in the gym. Back in the gym, e eating healthy, getting up early. Dual PC is fixed. So, stream Niac? Stream Niac. We'll be back soon enough. Dope. Did you get your DX Racer? I didn't yet. Oh, okay. I know they had more in the way. <laughs> Great. Great Wait. job. Uh, no, I can't remember who got them. Good, good thing. What's your. Code? Yeah, what's your good, good thing? thing? Oh, my good thing. Oh. Your code. Yeah, code. what's your discount code, no. Jack? I, I thought he was about to sell out. You know all about that. Life. I thought you were talking about my code, Courage JD. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Courage. Uh, courage, <laughs> is, <laughs> is courage is the codes. Courage JD is the socials. But who's, who's keeping track? 
Um, to you. Who what's you going good besides your six thousand? We, we got some more. No, I'm, I'm excited because I'm really having fun planning out like merchandise stuff. That's cool. It just saw, came, right? Like it's going out now. Yeah, the, the the first drop is going, and then I think we're do like a birthday donut drop of like the donut OG shirt, like a donut dad hat. We're planning out. Mm-hmm. Um, I told the merch guys that I need all the old stuff. Like I, I saw they took like really nice professional photos last week with like all the other merch, mm-hmm. and w- like I still never had a midnight shirt, but I really. We gotta get you fire. one. We're gonna get you one. I really need one of those. Fo- like the photos they took look really, really good with. Like, really. Really awesome. Sick. I'm going to have that, and I'm going to have some other stuff cooking with the merch. So oh, I'm excited. Watch fire. out. Only fire. Cool. What's a good thing that happened to you or that's going on with you? I have so many projects in my life right now that I'm, I'm, I'm balancing. I'm, like, balancing everything. Is, yeah, um, you've been ignoring me. Yeah, balancing has, has been everything for me. Like, the, the, for me, the building process of anything is, is, is where, where, where I enjoy. You know, like... Um, and, and this applies to everything in life, including you know optic and including like my personal thing. I think, um, and I always associate this back to jumping out of a plane. When when I jumped out of a plane, the moment that I remember most vividly is that drop, not landing, not taking off. It's that one minute of silence that you're saying to yourself, like holy crap, I did this or I'm doing this, right? Is uh, is in optic? I, I don't remember. I don't remember, you know, how it started. I remember how much I struggled from, you know, 2011 to, you know, to, to when to when we got the investment and, you know, we, we got all these resources. You know, once we got the investment, all the resources, like, it, it, it was, it, I, I, I won't ever remember that and I won't ever remember starting it. I remember the, 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 the struggle years and the, and, and the happy years and, and all that into one. It's the drop as opposed to the landing and the, and the takeoff. And right now I have uh, that, that sort of same mentality going into like these different projects that I'm working on. And, um, and, and I feel really happy at the fact that you know, I'm, I'm putting a little bit more focus on, on the Hex brand as opposed to like you know, something that's already well established. Uh, and it's an ongoing conversation that I've had with Judith for such a long time, right? She says, like, you know, for the past seven to, to eight years, you've been helping, you know, build the Nate Shot brands and the Scumpy brands and the Optic brands and everybody around you. Uh, and you've, you've lacked a little bit more in, in, in building, like, your, your own personal, like, thing. And I, I think I've done a good job so far uh, in, in doing that. But I think that a little bit more focus on, on me has been really, really healthy. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've, I've been enjoying my, my me time a lot. That's awesome. Yeah. God, Very happy. Sweet. Huh? I love all of you. Thank you. <laughs> love all I you love too. I love all of me too. Like Quiz <laughs> says, there's no better view than me. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>